Hola amigos and amigas, thank you for joining me again as I fact check Chance's pity party. Those returning already know the goblin is down bad. Or at least you'd think so if this is all you had to judge him on. But we actually have so much more. All provided by Chance himself. Oh, and a quick side note. Remember we're going backward in this series, part 1 covered the end of this poor excuse for a guilt trip. Now, before we keep going, I think it's important that you know Chance is already back twice as hard. He made two new channels yesterday and posted this to one of them. He's even posing as someone who laughs now. Preacher, who can you trust? Somebody gives Parker. Maybe that's the same dude with figured out Tinky Winky was gay. Remember that? That gay tell it to me? Let me tell you something. This Dobson boy, he got some serious gaydar going on on him, too. Damn. I heard he's still got to take no jug in. Bummer smirk. And I'm a I guess that's so much way. What when SpongeBob and Buddy Patrick swarmed the San Francisco Bay and got married? Hmm. Get them all That's right. The sad cloud of sadness and gloom you're watching made that either before or after this quote unquote tragedy. Chance, you are really good at showing yourself to be an insincere liar. Or, you switch moods on a dime. Anyway, let's get back to sad Raxo. I have nothing. And I know what y'all are thinking. What the, why are you breaking down and crying like a bitch? Y'all don't understand. I have worked my ass off. To make something of myself. For years, I've worked my ass off. More than anyone. While everyone is sleeping, I'm working my ass off. Every fucking day on my shit. Every day, I work my fucking ass off. I barely sleep. And I'm not joking when I say that either. I barely sleep at night. Because I am so dedicated to my work. I am so dedicated to putting out what I love to put out. And I am so dedicated to putting out the best content and the best music that I can Maybe possible. it's the caffeine slash sugar sludge. Why? Because I care about my people. I care about my fans. I care about those that want to see me do good. I give a shit. I care about the YouTube platform and what goes on. The only things Nobody you give a shit about are money, about fame, and girls. On that fucking platform. Little girls. But yet, the also I boys, too. Myself, the minute that I speak up, I get shut down. And I'll be honest, I don't know what to do anymore. You never knew what to do, Cyrax. To the point of suicide. Not once. Not once, but twice, to where I had attempted to self-delete twice in a row. Poking yourself with a blunt stylus Martin, isn't attempted self-snuffing. He's the one that started all this. He tried to make me look like a pedophile. Just stop, Raxo. I'm going to set you straight. Marty did not, repeat, did not hire Kate. As a perceptive human being, she noticed you were reaching out to bullied people. Knowing that the vast majority of bullied are children, Kate had a bad feeling about you. She pretended to be 14, and you sent a pic of your dick and asked for nudes. Chance, nobody believes she told you on the phone she was 18. Even if that were true, it wouldn't change the fact that she literally said in the text exchange that she was 14. You blew right through that and said your dick was all hers. You see... What Marty did do was bring you to a lot of other people's attention. Kate was probably one of them, but as I said, she saw you advertising help for bullied people and made the kitty connection on her own. Every new person who has stood up to troll you has done so because we see you need to be stopped before you hurt more kids. We are all different people, from different walks of life and political affiliations, but we have one thing in common. The desire to keep you from accessing children by any means possible. File. Also, he can isolate me from everyone. Why? Because he's sick in the head and has a sick obsession with me. And he refuses to leave me alone. No matter what the cops say, no matter what any law enforcement says, he doesn't care. He just goes about and does whatever he wants to do. Same with Edward Boy and William Glory Hole. They don't give a fuck about the law. All they care about is making me homeless and killing me when I am homeless. And I am genuinely afraid of that. I am genuinely scared of being homeless. Because a lot of people don't realize that when me and my family first moved up here to Ohio, we were living out of the back of my mom's car for over a year and a half, homeless. While my mom was at work, at Denny's at night, I would sleep out of the car. Or I would sleep in one of the booths inside the restaurant. And then during the daytime, we would go from storage unit to campsite all across the area until we could get enough money to get the place that we're in now. And all I've ever wanted to do is give back to those that gave everything to me. All I've ever wanted to do is help people through my videos, through my music. I, all I've ever wanted to do is inspire people to be the best that they can be. And to help people through whatever situation they're going through. 
whether that be my music, whether that be through my gameplay videos, whether that be through reactions or hangout videos or however people gain that thing to keep going. But yet I'm not allowed to do that, am I? I'm not allowed to inspire people to be the best they can be. For what it's worth, Raxo, you don't have to inspire people to make a difference in their lives. By providing a low bar to judge themselves against, you make lots of people feel better about themselves daily. And that would be our thought of the day if this were Jerry Springer. Thanks for joining me again. There's one more video to go until the beginning of this disaster.